Since then, he has appeared in many notable movies, including Bonnie and Clyde, Big Faust and Little Halsey, and the current Dick Tracy. Join us in welcoming actor Michael J. Pollard. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skip D. Lowe. Michael, uh, New Jersey. Yeah. Is that where you're really from? Yes, I am really from really New Jersey. Really from New Jersey. <laughs> oh, yeah. You went to New York. Did you, uh, would you, s you went to the actor's studio right away? Is that it? When you, what made Michael J. Pollard get into acting? Well, Skippy, I was really lucky. I came right off the street and started acting right away. Nobody could believe it. Uh-huh. I, st I started, yeah. You didn't, you didn't study at all immediately? Well, I studied with Lee Strasberg. After, right. Well, at the, probably at the same time I came. <coughs> yeah, but you were in classes with Marilyn Monroe. Yes, yeah, Skip. Paul Newman. Yeah. Come on. George Maharis. Jo George Maharis. Okay, George. But George E. Scott, what happened about that, that play you did? Well, that was uh, <coughs> Comes a Day with George C. Scott. <coughs> right. And Judith Anderson. Mm. Very big crowd pleaser at the actor's studio. Everybody went to see it. Did they? Yeah. Was it exciting for Michael J. Pollard to be on the same stage with uh, George C. Scott? Yeah, and Joe Papp was the stage manager. Uh huh. Was it? Well, I was his roommate. George. You were. Yes. Skip. How long were you his roommate? Well, up in Boston at the Terrain Hotel and. Uh, Terrain. Uh -huh. Yes, Skip. It's a theatrical hotel. Yeah. I know that hotel. <coughs> and then down in the village where he lived with Colleen. Uh huh. So. You had fun li in those days. Those Looking days? back, yeah, those he had a lot of fun those days, Michael. Yeah, I guess you might say they were my salad days. Ah, uh, but Skippy. did you tell me? Go ahead. Go ahead. The actor studio. Yes. Lee Strasberg, the method. Did you think that turned the whole generation of uh, actors like James Dean and Brando, mm. Michael J. Pollard, mm. Shelley Winters? Shelley Winters, yes. Let's tell me about that those days. I mean, you really changed the whole thing of acting. I know. It was very exciting in those days, Skippy. There was an electricity in the air. Like what? Well, just like at that time, there was, you know, play on Broadway, there was plays like, you know, Death of a Salesman, Streetcar. Right. Death of a Salesman, Streetcar, <laughs> and Night of the Iguana, Shelley and Betty Davis. That's All these people, they yeah, were... Yeah, that's right. Would you consider Betty Davis a method? No, she was not. She was... Betty Davis, Betty Davis eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Davis eyes. Yeah. I like that. Michael J. Pollard, tell me, what's the play that you mostly enjoyed doing first in New York? On Broadway. On Broadway. Well, I like. Because you did Bye Bye Birdie. Yeah. That was a musical. Yes. With uh, who's that? Dick, Dick Van, Dyke? Van Dyke and Cheetah Rivera. And tell Paul me about Lee. that. Tell me about that. Well, that ran two years, and I when I auditioned, I. I uh, well, I met Charles uh, Strauss, the writer in Downey's, in the men's room, and he said, can you sing? I said, just like Frank Sinatra. <laughs> so I auditioned. I sang the song from Guys and Dolls. In the bathroom? Sue me, that song, Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. And, and in the men's room. And Gower Champing was, I can't, and, and I came to the audition in a black shirt and a white tie like Frank from Black uh -huh. Suit. They were all, and they hired me. I was the juvenile lead. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on Broadway. I had a little lifts up my shoes, uh -huh. my friend. <laughs> that Dan, Dick Van Dyke was great in that, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. God. He was really neat. And then in his series, that's... Yeah, that that landed his series from yeah. that, did it? Yeah. Remember what Mary Tyler Moore Yeah, said? yeah, yeah. That's, but New York was great those days. Those oh, days, oh, yeah. God, the excitement. You know why it was great? Why? We had American plays and American musicals. Yeah. No English, no... no we did. We had. Uh, Think about it, Michael. Mm. Am I right? Yeah. It was America. Yeah, but and then when an English play would come in, like, uh, you know, like a Brendan Bean play or something like that, it was really special. Right, 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 right. What did you actually learn looking at Actor Studio? What did you, Michael J. Pollard, learn at the Actor Studio? Could you share something with that audience out there? What would you say you have learned from Lee Strausberg, his technique? Mm. What is it all about? Method, actor. Method, what? actor. Yeah, tell me. Well, the way Lee was teaching it, it was kind of like, you know, your body is like a violin, you know, <clears throat> or a piano, and it could be like, you could, your body could be like a Stradivarius, but if it's out of tune, nobody's going to know. Right. Or if you're wearing a $2,000 suit in no time, nobody's going to know. So 
<clears throat> it was like to tune up your instrument. Right. And speak up. <laughs> so, <laughs> speak up, right. That's where it was. Michael, hmm. Bonnie and Clyde. Yes. Got to do something. What? How did you get that role? That role, that wonderful role. Well, I knew Warren, Warren. Beatty. You did something before with Warren? Loss of Roses by Lost William Inge on Broadway. on Broadway. Yeah. So you, Warren you know, had a lot to do with Michael J. Pollard's career then, huh? Yeah, well, we did Dobie Gillis out here, too. And Tuesday, Will played his girlfriend. And he was the most handsomest guy in the graduating class. <laughs> and I was Maynard Krebs' cousin. Uh-huh. I remember that. Remember that? Right? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Did you enjoy doing those days at the Dobie Gillis shows and all that? Yeah. Yes, I did, Skippy. Did you? Now my acting is like, remember Charlie Parker? His yeah. horn became like his uh, extension of his arm. Uh-huh. Well, that's how my acting instrument is now. Your instrument is wonderful, Michael. You Thanks. know what I loved in Bonnie and Clyde. I was in Germany in the theater and I saw Bonnie and Clyde. I was working entertaining the troops there in Frankfurt. And, yeah. and there it was on the screen. I went to see it and boy, did I see your face on that screen. I said, wow, what a great, I've never seen you before. Yeah, oh, I was in Germany then too. I was doing Hannibal Brooks. Oh, really? Yeah. Michael Winner and uh, uh -huh. Alvary. Uh -huh. They said, go see yourself. And so some guy was talking in German. It was you. That was <laughs> <laughs> you had a special look. Special looks. You me. have that special. Is that what Hollywood at that time needed and is looking for? Today, they just look for good-looking guys. Yeah. Good-looking girls, good-looking guys. But that special look of Hollywood yeah. is that unique individuality. They, what's, what's happening with that day? Gee. Come on. Well, Skippy. Me. That's the way, you know, when Jerry Wald was like the head of the studios and stuff. Now, you know, it's, it's neat. I think it's neat. Like Tom Cruise is neat and uh, Julia Roberts. And everybody. They're all good looking. They're all, yeah. every guy's good looking. There's no James Cagney, Humphrey Bogarts. These oh, guys yeah. were all individual personalities. Clark yeah. Gables, that, you, you, know, you know what I mean? I know what you're saying. What do we do about it? What do we do about this in, in Hollywood? Move I mean, to Woodstock? We don't have any, stu yeah. Well, <laughs> what do we do about this? Skip? You know. There are great faces like yourself. Yeah. Yes. I think you're a chameleon actor, though. You could do everything. Yeah. You've done Shakespeare, have you? And, well, in class. In class? Yeah. At the Actors Studio? Well, or what? Did you study somewhere else than the Actors Studio? Josh Shelley. Remember Josh Shelley? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I studied with him. Then I studied, when I first came, I studied with Herbert Berghoff, when it used to be on 6th Avenue in uh -huh. New York on 23rd uh -huh. Street. Yeah, Lee Grant was my teacher. Great Shelly director, great actress. She's yeah. in town, I understand. She's a great director. Yeah, Skippy. What's happening with uh, Michael J. Pollard right now? You finished a film called Dick Tracy. Yeah. And it's coming out with Madonna, and you're also in the video, I understand. I am. In the video scene. I think you're in the video, too, aren't you? Maybe so, Skippy. Yeah, I think so, the singing the video. But yeah. I'd love to see a clip from that uh, new movie of yours. It's, uh, they're making such a hype of this Dick Tracy. Have you seen it yet? Part of it, Skippy, yeah. What do you think? Oh, What's it looks really Does good, it? funny. It is? Primary colors. Can we take a look at the clip? I'd sure, love to see Skippy. the clip of this new movie called Dick Tracy with Michael J. Pollard. Tracy! Tracy! It's like he's reading my mind. Extra, extra! Tracy battles move! I'm taking this bomb out of the headlines. I'm rubbing him out. Hey, Tracy, watch out! You think Tracy to me? I say we kill Tracy now. You challenge me, we all go down! How's she gonna arrest me? I want to know who killed Lips Manless. Not the bad! Not the bad! Big boy, not the bad! I know, and I'm gonna miss you. But all's fair in love and business. Whose side are you on? So I'm always on. Mine. What? What's the word of? Lex territory is my territory now. Everything he owns, I own. Move in and take your positions. Okay, boys, let's go. And you, guilty of attempting to bribe an officer of the law. She does some nifty undercover work. I think Tracy drives you crazy, doesn't he? I want Tracy dead! Tracy, let's go! Good luck. You have just said goodbye to oxygen. Aren't you gonna frisk me? Stupid cop. Tracy? Warren 
baby is Dick Tracy. Donna, mm -hmm. you did a lot of scenes with her. Tell me about working with her. She's a very nice girl, Madonna. <clears throat> She's uh. What makes her success so, you know? She's always changing. She's always ahead of what she's or what other people are doing. Ahead of doing, yeah, right? And then like what people do, you know, when she does it, everybody starts uh, copying what she does. And she changes. Yeah. And she gets her new thing. Yeah. Interesting. Yes, that's true. That's interesting. That's very interesting, Michael. Um, close with, um, well, Dick Tracy, you know, our Warren Beatty friend. Yes. Uh, you're very close with him. Yes, I am, Skippy. And um, what kind of guy? Can you share me? I know you're going to say he's great and all that, but yeah. you know what kind of really uh, Warren Beatty? I know. I, I just I think he's very mysterious. He's I've seen him in clubs. I've seen him in uh, restaurants. Uh, he keeps to himself. He's very quiet. He's, very, he's yeah. an ordinary guy, though, isn't he? A southern gentleman. A southern gentleman. Yeah, he comes from West Virginia. Uh huh. Very <laughs> soft spoken. Yes. Yes, he is, Skippy. And Steve Martin. Tell me about Steve Martin and, and Michael J. Pollard. I'm going to go right to Steve Martin because yeah. Steve and you are very close, and you've done a lot of things with Steve. Now stop personating me. Okay, <laughs> Michael, what? go ahead. Yes, tell me. I just saw him the other day. You did? Yes. He's a very nice guy. Roxanne. Yeah. Tell me about Enjoy doing that film? Well, is we did a scene together, and he said to me during the scene. Did he write that scene in for you? I understand he wrote. Yeah, he wrote a lot of scenes in for me, Skippy. That one about uh, buying, uh, uh, getting, uh, being in nothingness by Jean Paul Sartre. Uh huh. Uh huh. And I was embarrassed to go buy it by himself. So uh huh. Wrote that one, and then when on my coat caught on fire. Uh huh. He's yes. A, he's a fun guy, isn't he? Steve. Steve. Martin. Yes. Also very quiet. Theater. Is that your? Is he very quiet? Is he very <laughs> quiet? Is he very quiet? Look, <laughs> <laughs> Michael. What? Theater. First love? Yes. Is that your first love? It was. you still go to the actor's studio, still, here I in do. Hollywood. You still do. Right? Yeah. And you keep your tools sharp. Is that what people, is that why they do it? To, to keep it? To yeah, because like after a while, if you don't, then you forget what it, you got in it for in the first place. Mm -hmm. I think could be. Do you ever teach up there, uh, Michael? No. The I just observe. You do observe Shelly Winters. <laughs> yeah, I observed Shelly for the last 25 years. <laughs> you, observed, you learn a lot from uh, Shelly Winters, have you? Michael? Have I? Have you, yes. Yeah, I've known her a long time. A really? really? Long, yeah, in New York and stuff. Yeah. Why is Shelly Winters so down to earth and so earthy lady? And uh, She's not like, like a movie star should be, or you aren't either, really. Yeah. What is a movie star should be? I don't know. But yeah. That's, you know, the glamour. She doesn't worry about being glamorous or anything. Yeah. You know, she's so earthy. Earthy. Yeah. This is true. Yes, Skippy. She's earthy, funny. She, she's um, very nice. I protect her all the time. Shelly, it's okay. She's okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, Tango and Cash. Yeah. Uh, tell me about that film. It's well, out now. I know. It's doing very well. Sylvester told me, he said, Michael, you're not going to believe this. I said, what? He said, you know when Little Foss and Big Halsey opened at the Beekman Theater on 3rd Avenue in New uh -huh. York? I said, yeah. He said, I was the usher who showed you to your seat. He was? Yeah, he was. In Halsey? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's a nice guy. Sylvester? Sylvester, yeah. He Wonderful. really is. Huh? He's like from Very the neighborhood. So. Yeah. His brother. Have you met his brother, Frank? Good singer. Anybody who wants to answer? Yeah, he is, huh? Frank, Frank Stallone? Yeah. Wonderful singer. And his mother is just a wonderful astrologer, too. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I mean, the whole family yeah. is, is outrageous. They're, they're fun. They're fun people. Yes. Uh, working on the film of yeah. Tango and Cash. Is this a little like Barbara Walters and oh, Warren Beatty? <laughs> oh, we're <laughs> stretching her. We're just stretching, Michael. Okay. <laughs> uh, working in Tango and Cash, you had a lot of fun working with that, uh, with uh, Kurt Russell and... Yeah, I worked with um, Albert Margoli, the uh -huh. Prince's manager. He was my uh -huh. director. But the guy who cast me was uh, Andre Castellan, uh -huh. who did Runaway Train. Ah. Uh. So my mom said, if, uh, this, if Albert likes Prince, he's going to like you, Michael. <laughs> Does your mother watch all your movies? Well, I guess. I'm sure. Uh huh. Does she still live in Jersey? New Jersey, yes. New Jersey? Yes. It's a great place to grow up, isn't it, Michael? 
Yeah, New Jersey. Lujinski played tennis there. Where? In Passaic, New Jersey. Yeah, is that where he, who played tennis? Lujinski, the ballet yeah, dancer. Right. Yeah, right, he played tennis. You're right, that's right, we're stretching that's for right. it. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin and uh, Howard. Yes, ah. yes. That's Howard Hughes' life story. Yes, it was, Skip. Tell me about that. Uh, how did you get that role, Melvin and Howard? Through Jonathan Demme. Uh -huh. I went up to see Jonathan <clears throat> With this guy who carried a gun in his briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> Tell us the story. Go no, ahead. no. No, go ahead, Mike. Oh, no. He had a gun in his briefcase? No, he was, was he my what? manager at the oh, time. Oh, okay. Dominic. Okay, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> protection. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Well, I, that's how I got that. I saw the original will he wrote, you know, uh -huh. when, in the courtroom scene. You did? Yeah, he, like he left money to Gene Peters and stuff. And uh, Terry Moore? Yeah, huh. And she claims she's got ten, th uh, 10 million from that. Really? Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you more about Bonnie and Clyde. You were uh, a Cavani Award nomination. You got a Cavani Award nomination for that. Yes, I did, Skippy. And I was very proud because you deserved it that year. I remember, and I was so, oh, when I saw you, I thought you were just brilliant. Yeah. Did you enjoy working on Bonnie and Clyde? Oh, a lot yeah. of people remember you from Bonnie and Clyde, still. Yeah. Am I right, Michael? Really? Still. Does that, because you've done a lot, <laughs> yeah. not just Bonnie and Clyde. What? But a lot of work. Mm hmm But they only think... My Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. Why, well, Michael? It was Why a landmark it? movie, Skippy. Yeah. Doing that was very good. It was like almost like the New York Yankees or the Beatles. Right. And everybody kind of meshed together. The world saw that. The world loved it. Yeah. See, and you became a world-famous movie star on the screen then. Yes. You know, that face of yours. There was no face like that at that <laughs> time. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that little pinkish face of yours. It was adorable. <laughs> 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 Michael, favorite director. Who's your favorite? You have one? Well, I like uh, Arthur Penn, you know, Albert Margot. Uh huh. Who else? I like mm -hmm. Fred Sepsi. He did Roxanne. Uh huh. Who else? Well, fellow who did Next to Kin, I'll remember uh -huh. that with Patrick mm -hmm. Swayze, John. Yes, you just did a film with Pat, uh, Pat Swayze. What was the film called? Uh, Next to Kin. Next to Kin. Yeah, and it's then uh, Scrooge. Scrooge is coming out? No. Or it's out? Remember with it's Bill been Murray. Out. Yes, 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 of course. That was Dick Donner. Dick, you're right. <laughs> that was a great movie. Yeah. 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 The Russians are coming? Yeah. Who directed well, The Russians are coming? That fellow from uh, Canada. Did you enjoy doing that? Yeah. It's a funny movie. Huh? Yeah, Russians are coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Direct? Do you direct, Michael? Would I you did like to? Once, which which one? Back in 1968, I directed this thing. I think it's in Texas now. <laughs> Village Voice came down, and photographed the whole thing. Uh huh. John and Michelle Phillips were in it. Love her. Yeah. yeah. Love her, Michelle Phillips, and I like her daughter too. Her daughter lived in my building, Michelle Phillips. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Mackenzie Phillips. She lived in my building. She did. Yep. Yep, before she had her little trouble, Mackenzie did. She, yeah. you know, she was a wonderful girl, and she went back to her father. You know, up I in ran into a, fr a, f a friend of Shelley's on Easter morning, Skippy. I'm sure you know who it is. Go ahead. Who? She's an actress. She's waiting to do that movie, too, with, with Shelley. Waiting to do the movie with you know, Shelley. Yeah, you know who it is, Skip. No, I don't. I can't think of who it is. Mm. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You, I understand, are up for... Um, Richard Tate was calling me. Yeah. And you are up for a film you're going to be doing in Russia, is it? Or yeah. With Shelley Winters. Yeah. That's right. Tell me about that. What is that all about? Well, I played this uh, chauffeur named Gumdrop, and uh -huh. Shelley plays an, an ex-madam or something like that. Uh huh. Sounds fun. That, yeah. Huh? When is that going on uh, this, uh, this summer? Summer. Huh? Summer? Yeah. Have you been to Russia before? No. Have you skipped it? Yes, I have. Michael? What? Is Michael J. Pollard uh, religious? Religious, uh, no. You know, are you religious? I mean, you know, spiritual. Are spiritual. you spiritual? Maybe so, Skippy, because I think the 90s are supposed to be very spiritual, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I understand I you're a Gemini like I am. I know that. I just yeah. discovered you're a Gemini, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just discovered. Happy birthday. Thanks, Today's Shelley. your birthday. Uh, well, skip. Today's your birthday? No, yesterday. Yesterday was your birthday? Yeah. Well, that's a happy birthday, It was on Michael. Entertainment Tonight and everything, my oh. picture. Well, happy Skippy. birthday. And mine's yes. the 6th. Six. Six. Mine's the 6th. June. 
But I must tell you something, Michael J. Pollard. You, what? as an actor, mm -hmm. are yes. you writing anything? Am I? Yeah. You, you mean like a script or yeah. anything? Mm. Come on. Well, I bet you are. Not really, Skippy. You're not? No, I'm just an actor, Skippy. You're just doing, just doing? Yes. Warren's the producer, I'm the actor. <laughs> Warren keeps you busy, though, don't Warren Beatty, doesn't he? Yes. He keeps you in all his films. Yes. You're so close that way. Isn't that wonderful? Mm. Do you see him a lot, all the time? Do you go out a lot, Michael? Well, what is Michael J. Time. Pollard's day like? I mean, getting up in the morning. Mm. You uh, run, exercise, or? I walk. Walk? You do a lot of walking? Yeah. Because I don't have a car. Me too. Love it. I don't want to end up like James Dean. What do you mean by that, James <laughs> Dean? I mean, he was driving fast. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jamie Dean drives it's fast. I know. You know. Yeah. Did you know him? No, Marilyn Monroe. Pardon me? I knew Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. You went to school with her at the actor's studio. You were in the same classes. Yeah. At, with Lee Strasberg. Yes, we were. Paul worked. Newman, Joanna Woodward. Yeah. Tell yeah. me about those days. Let's get back again. Let's yeah. about those days. Tell me about this, those acting classes. Very yeah. exciting. I mean, it was something. Like what? Tell me, Michael. Just give me your, I mean, think back when mm -hmm. Marilyn Monroe got up and did her scenes. Well, did I did a scene with You her. did? Yes. Which one was it? Breakfast what? at Tiffany's. How was it doing the scene? Did you, doing a scene with Marilyn Monroe at the time, she, did you feel that she was going to be such? She was. She was, but I mean, I meant a I legend, a legend oh. that kept on. That's what I mean, Michael. Sure. I mean, did you really? Yeah. Did she have that certain thing you saw? Oh, yeah. She did? Yeah. She used to hang out with Paula Strasberg at the time. She lived with Shelley Winters. She, oh, that's right, Shelley. out here on Holloway, huh? Yeah, yeah. that's right, where, uh, where uh, Sal Minio. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, huh. that's right. Did you know Sal? Yeah. Living out here in Hollywood, did you like it or, or New York better? I like both, Skippy. You do? Yeah. Come from Jersey, you would say immediately you like New York better. So that's interesting. Well, everybody says New York's not the same. That's what they're saying. Have you been back lately? Or? I haven't been back like in a year, Skippy. Well, you haven't? No. But I still like it. I go hang out in Soho when I go back. I see. I do not hang out. I go shopping. I can't hang out anymore, Skippy. I'm an AA. You go <laughs> AA? Yeah. You don't drink anymore? No. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So yeah. you go a couple of days, a couple of times a day. Yeah. Because all those people, they spend a lot of time early morning and sometimes late in the afternoon. Yeah. It has helped you a lot, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. It's 13 changed. years, Skippy. 15? 13. Really? Yeah. It has changed your life completely, hasn't completely. it? Completely. You might say I'm reborn. You're reborn. <laughs> that smile of yours, I think. <laughs> you, you don't. You mean you don't touch any of that at all? No. It has helped you. So when you go to parties, you you just you can go to parties. Yeah. And you can fade away from liquor. Oh, it doesn't. No. It doesn't bother you. All that. Yeah. Interesting, Michael. Thanks, Kevin. And smoking. Smoke cigarettes. Did you ever smoke? Well, I still smoke cigarettes and drink coffee. But that's all I do, Skippy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they do at the AA meetings, yeah. right? <laughs> and listen and do those things. Mm -hmm. I want to get back with you. Your favorite movie, Michael, you yeah. have done. What's your favorite you have done? Uh, you're going to say Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. Is it? Sure. That's your favorite? Yes. You're looking back? Yes. Okay. Looking back over your career, mm. your life, yeah. uh, any regrets? Mm. Any regrets? No. I turned down that movie, Willard. Remember Willard? Willard? Yes, yes, the rat There's movie. Six million dollars yeah. there. <laughs> no. You turned it on. <laughs> I love it. That's a great movie. Yeah. yeah. What would like Michael Potter would like to do right now? What I mean, you're going to you're going to Russia to do a film with Shelley Winters. Yeah. But what would you really, if I give you an opportunity right now, what would you like to do? Uh, uh, would you like to? Um, what would you like to do? I'd like to go shopping at LL Bean and. <laughs> so Michael J. Pollard is not really, he's very low key here in Hollywood. He yeah. Doesn't, he doesn't drive. And no. He does his walking. Yes. He does his own shopping. Mm -hmm. Well, my friend Gary helps me shop, too. I see. I can't, I got the packages. Uh -huh. And bursitis. Uh -huh. <laughs> Michael J. Pollard, married? Well, I was married twice, Skippy. Twice? Yeah. Children? 
I have two children, one by each marriage. Uh huh. Boy and a girl. Really? Are any, are any of them business at all? Yeah, well, my first wife, Beth Howland, she was on the. Beth Howland? Yeah. Is was the on Alice for nine years, played Vera. Right. Yeah. Was that your first wife? Beth yes. Howland? I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, children by her? You have yeah, one? A daughter, Holly. She just graduated from Loyola Mar Marymount. How nice. Yeah. And any, any they're going to be in the business or anything? or what? Well, my daughter's with William Morris. Uh huh. And then my son, Axel, lives in uh, Florida with his mother, Annie. I see. So we're all friends. I see. Yes. Michael? What? Uh, the episode with, uh, I wanted to get back with Steve Martin. Mm. You've done six things with Steve. Yeah. Like what? Say uh, well, six episodes. Well, we did, yeah, we did that uh, Leo and Liz in Beverly Hills. Right. And then, well, we did the pilot. Originally, that was the George Burns comedy. They'd have a different show every week. Right. And then uh, all those shows, they made that show the pilot for Leo and Liz, so that makes it seven. Uh huh. And then I did Roxanne with Steve. He's all funny, in the same he? year. What yeah. makes Steve? Uh, what's his magic? What is his magic? Because he's he's got such great magic. Yeah. Just well, he's a real nice guy. You're saying nice guy. Just, yeah. Is that this? Is that the? Is that the magic word? Just being a nice guy. You think, Michael? I don't know. I don't know. Because you're a nice guy. Yeah. And you got the magic too. Mm. You're, you're a wonderful actor, and uh, sometimes you're saying, "I'm waiting. I'm just going to sit there and patiently wait for the roles to come." Yeah. Do you think that's the way to be, Michael? Don't you think you should go after him? Like you don't really go after those things. I know. Is I that sure, correct? Yeah, I have. Um, I have to be uh, more aggressive. Yes, you're right. And you just lay back and wait until they I come know, to you. But I have to do the other thing, Skippy. Yeah. So, so maybe you're. Maybe you have the right magic. I don't know. Maybe that's the best. Wait until it comes to you. I don't know. Yeah. Well. Sylvester Stallone came to you, Martin came to you, they all came to you. Yeah. And Bonnie, right? Am I right? Yeah. They all come to you. <laughs> they, you don't go to them. So come here. That's, the, that's, your, that's your secret, you know. Hmm. Michael J. Pollard. Is that your real name? Mm-hmm. Is it? Well, it's Michael? Pollock. Pollock. But when I got in show business, there was this guy. There was? Yeah. A Michael Pollock. Pollock singing on the Firestone Hour. Uh-huh. He oh. was a singer, yeah. Was he? Yeah, I have to, had to change my name. So uh, uh, one Christmas, my parents got me to Four Freedoms by Norman Rockwell, you know, they sent away to Wonderful. Norman. Wonderful. Uh -huh. And he signed it, and he signed it Michael J. Pollard, so I changed it to that. Uh-huh. Uh, interesting. Yes. That's, a, yeah. that's how you changed your name. There is a Pollock uh, director, isn't it? Uh, what's his name, the director, Pollock? Uh, oh, Sidney? Sidney. Mm. Yeah. 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 He did that thing with... Uh, Meryl uh, Streep. Yeah. Right. Why Michael always wear a hat?